wrong. What? Get out of here, West Coastener. <laughs> okay, so what time were people planning on waking and rousing themselves? Uh, well, after my healing and like four hours of forest trancing were over, I was probably gonna like keep an eye on things like outside. Bob is or the other um, side? Probably not where Bob is, so that you know we're not just looking at the same spot. Um probably like down where like the main entrance is. Okay, you can move yourself over there. So what am I looking for again? Uh D ten? Oh, what, that's your health roll? You did better than me. Ah, Kalfani. What? Man. Always get the best rolls. Um, I, I don't. A, I rolled a five. On a d8. Well, I didn't see your roll, but good job. And I mean... When you're not rolling for your lightsaber, Kalani, every other time, you do really well. Maybe she needs a different lightsaber. <laughs> she she made a new one. Okay, John, you are awakened, unless you are awake pretty early in the morning, by your comlink buzzing. Okay, I answer it. John, this is Edith. I need a status report. Uh, we're at the textile mill. Uh, uh, we're set up bombs and we're waiting for the ship to come so we can blow them up. Well, I'm glad to hear that they haven't tracked you down yet. And that you're all still okay. As far as I know, none of our other agents have been attacked or compromised. Well, I don't have anything else to report yet. Very well. Keep me informed. Okay, so what is everybody doing once they're awake? I imagine I get up later than everyone else. Yeah. I double check on my hole. Now that I've slept, I'm gonna take another look at it and make sure I think that it's pretty good. Hey, you can roll perception. I guess you can technically roll stealth to see how well you hide it, unless you want to argue for a different skill. Nope, no, I'm full stealth. Not the greatest, but it's kind of a backup plan anyway. I want to <laughs> use the force on Gemma again. 
can't you can't take twenty on on your score checks? No. Okay. Then I'm just gonna roll again. I mean you can take ten though. Uh, yeah, I me. think so. Yeah, you can take 10. It wouldn't help me. It would just make me 23. Yeah, he doesn't seem force sensitive to you. Is there anything? Could I, I'm specifically targeting that feeling that I get from him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit odd. Like, like he might have some connection to the force or something, but you can't really quite say what it is. Okay, then I go up to him. And I say, how, how did you know that that Sith was outside last night? Was there a Sith outside last night? I just knew that I had a very bad feeling, and nothing came of it, so perhaps I was just imagining it. But I felt like a very powerful evil was coming near us. Does that happen to you often? He uh, scratches one of his ears. I do not really recall that happening, no. So you've never before, like when you said that woman came to the house, did you feel anything then? Hold on, I'm making some rolls. <laughs> yeah, he sort of like looks off into the distance. And then all of a sudden you see him like shiver slightly. He says, Maybe, but it was not exactly the same as it was this time. Do you know... Who your family is? I, 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 that must sound like a strange question. When you were taken as a slave, were you young or old enough to know who your family were? No, I was only captured as a slave several months ago. Is there anyone in your family? Yeah, you guys can all roll, use the force. Everybody who's force sensitive. Well, everyone who's isn't that supposed to be like a special Jella. like gauge force point, like gauge force potential? I don't know. Is there a special thing? Yeah, like that? because I have a technique that, like a meditate, like a meditation technique that the same one that I was going to use with Lexa also gives me the ability to use that talent. Okay, well, do you want to direct me to that in the book? Any hoozles? <laughs> Here, I'll roll the, I'll roll the other thing that's slightly separate, but I wish you had it has a scripture. It's called um, Gauge Force Potential is the name of the talent. Yeah, you guys you. sense like, like really powerful like sadness, like. And like sort of a like a very depressing kind of like melancholy 
What was that? that sadness. Is? Coming off of Jella when she asks him about if he knows who his parents are or his family, whatever she asked, particularly. Wording, I can't remember. Do you know if your family has had any history with Force sensitivity? Uh, Jedi's, mystics, uh, anyone who can use the Force? He looks down at the floor and he says, I do not know, but it is possible that they never told me. And I cannot ask them now. Right. I'm sorry for being so probing. It's just... Normal people shouldn't be able to do that. And if you do have some talents in that area, well, maybe there's a future for you after this. He looks at you. What do you mean? I don't know if you've noticed or been able to see that there's a war going on out there, and my order needs all the Jedi they can acquire. If you'd be willing to, we could see if you have some talents in the Force, and maybe, maybe you could have a home in the Order. Since Dahl's halfway across the warehouse, he has no idea what's going on, so he calms in. Is everybody ready for me to send that transmission? I imagine we all sat down in the same place to rest, right? Yeah. I mean, at least I did. Yeah, Dell just went to like one of the other entrances to like watch it after he yeah. was finished transiting, so... So, like... Is this around the time when everyone else has, wake, has woken up? So how much more time do I have on my paragraph? Well, if everybody went to bed while you were still laying the explosives, then it probably is like two hours before you wake up. Well, I'm still conscious. I meant, yeah, before you finish your trains. They're actually... I, also, I where is the rest now? Let me go look at that thing again. I think I only have to do the rest of it. Del's character token disappeared. I am on the ship with all the cloaked droids, so I might be underneath them for you. I thought you went to go keep an eye on things. Why are you on the ship? Well, yeah, because then I started heading back to make the trans the transmission. I was trying to find the ship because there's no light source there, so I was like, I think it's in this general vicinity. So yeah, so I only have to be... Re- I only force transfer four hours. I, I, as long as I'm still considered resting, the, re- the last two hours can just be conscious resting. So like what a short rest would be, except part of a longer rest. All right, that does not answer my question. <laughs> Anybody else? Anybody else what? I mean, I was asking the question if, like, I should send the transmission or not. The transmission to who? I was looking up rules. The transmission to Zergius. The, the Zer- yeah, Zergius. Yeah, to make her green with envy or make her red with anger. I think red with anger right now would probably... 4K no los dos. No habla espanol. Why not both? I I would tell you I would like to get a, a little bit more rest, if possible.
I mean, there's the parade stuff going on today, so I don't want to miss her seeing it. Yeah, do it now. We're ready. Also, I would like to do the sense where he's force sensitive thing, although I already did that once. Technically, I got a really good roll on it, too. But I was told mm-hmm. no. But since she's since people are inquiring, I will I will check again. I can drop over three four. Yeah, that was in response to uh, uh, Kyra saying everybody who's now listening and is looking for it can roll use the force. And it's like, okay, does it change my result or no? Okay, yeah, so I guess I'll send the transmission thing. Um, other people can do what they want, because I can just handle that with Kyrath. Okay, because, yeah, you get the same sort of sense that other people got. Is that, like, he doesn't seem actively Force-sensitive, but there is something that feels a little bit different about him than, like, the average person. Well, that's good, because my initial roll was a lot higher than that. <laughs> In the meantime, so the plan is for us to hide in the shuttle, then set the bombs off when we're ready. I assume that is the plan. I, I am not sure if anyone else wishes to add to it or change what's going on. Well, definitely, Jella, Dirk, you should be hiding in the shuttle. You don't want to be in the midst of battle if it comes to him. That is correct, for sure. Are the charges yep. set? Yep. Did you make any attempts to conceal them? Not really. I ain't aside from you know, just not being generally obvious about them and sticking them in plain sight. If someone goes and looks for them, they're gonna find them. It's not really something you can conceal very well. I just worry about them seeing it before they're fully in place. Uh, Tyrath, was the, uh, was it indoors the area is being marked? Yeah. I would have asked to hide them and make a roll for that, but I didn't really think there's not much you can do to hide that aside from, you know, generally the places you would put those aren't out in the open and only someone expecting that would go and look for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could try to, like, pile some rubble on top of them. I voice this possibility. I don't think we need to conceal all of them. 
just the ones in the entrance way, the ones I'm most likely to see. I'd hate for them to go off and only have half the Sith inside. Maybe the three of us. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good, Did you put any on the entrance? When you say entranceway, which entranceway are you referring to? The giant opening wall or the door? He would have put them on load-bearing walls where it would have done the most most amount of uh, destruction because he was following me and I was going right. for the load-bearing walls. So, any charges? I, because did you put them in the, the southwestern entrance or the southeast? Where did I put them? I just put them where I was told. thought we had said the, the west one. I, I only placed the charges to bring the building down. Okay. Uh, Gerard, did you close off the other exits? Nobody reminded me of that, but I'm guessing retcon. Yeah, I did. Okay, which exits did you retcon close off? Good question. Which ones was I supposed to shut off, Zeri? Also, did Mini Bob get back to me with the map? Yeah. The he was waiting. East. The red map was waiting for you when you woke up. Yeah. The, the east one. Okay. And somehow, I will share said map with everyone. And somehow the big door, too. I don't know. Just I guess maybe jam that door so it can't open. Yeah, that would be easy. I'll say over comms, anyone who's got a data pad, come in, get a copy of the map I had Bob, little Bob make of this place. And I will tell oh. Bob to come in and get a, a copy real quick uploaded to him. I'll grab a copy. Yeah, I'll come, I'll come out of the ship and get a copy. Well, transmission sent. Now we're just waiting for a response. Well, a physical response, that is. So, do we hide in the meantime? Wait, so someone needs to tell me I wasn't making an answer. Which entrances got blocked off? And how did they get uh, blocked off? The big door. Uh mechanically jammed, or not necessarily mechanically, but jammed because uh, telekinesis and whatnot I would have made sure the door would not have opened. And the what was it, the eastern one as well? Or <laughs> southeastern? Yeah. Southeastern. So the doors that you guys came through to get into the place mm -hmm. is the one that's open? No, the other one. The main entrance. The main entrance is the one I think we left open. I thought we changed that because of the position of the shuttle. Well, so... so. Oh, right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no mind. Yeah, so the door that leads into the other room is the one that's still open. The, you mean the courtyard? No, the smaller, the smaller room. There's like the door that leads into the smaller room, and then there's the door Super that goes loud, into the courtyard. Super loud, door. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that's open, but that's not open to the outside. That's another room. I thought you said there were two doors from in the courtyard that lead to there different are. places. Uh huh. So the one that we didn't enter. Okay, the one that John used to get into that other room to open it. Yeah. That's yeah. the one that's open. So we're funneling them through the other room. Okay, got it. Although I do think we should close that loud door so that when they open it, or however they decide to open it, we can hear them coming. 
So what about the door that you guys came through? In the big one. Oh, the one so there's a small, there's like a small uh, access the... door on the top that's by the giant door. Yeah, we gotta close that one too. Okay, Bob is out there. Yes. Um, I tell Bob to put his mechanical butt in here. You can use okay. Okay, Bob comes back inside when you tell him to. I tell him to get back in. Uh, yep. Is there anything we need to double check? Um, so well, you're closing the loud screechy door. Closing it, not jamming it, just closing it. Maybe we have to leave it like a little bit open so that they, they know that they can get through that door. I mean, I like to think the Sith are pretty dumb, but I think they're intelligent enough to figure it out. Okay, well, it is like it rolls down from the ceiling, so you could, in theory, leave a foot open along the bottom if you wanted to. That just seems too obvious. I think, I, mean, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like if we were really hiding, we would close it all the way. That's true. We should probably make it look like we tried to make it not work. So what's the plan when they show up? And what's the plan if they show up with a ton of troopers? Well, if we can hear when they enter the room, Ariel, can you do like an illusion of us standing near the ship? So if we're all on board the ship and they make things near the ship, if they're if we're close enough together, it would be difficult to detect that we're not where we say we are. So if they think we're outside the ship, we draw them in. Once our Sergius is inside the building, we take off and we detonate everything. Also, what's the plan once we're... How are we getting out of here? What, we're, 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 there's like weak points in the ceiling. We're going to take the ship and it's sturdy enough that we're going to bust through the ceiling, basically. Out of character, I thought we were going to have Bacaz teleport us. In character, I could try moving us out of here. But I would need to know where to send us. Is there an outskirts to the city? Yeah. Like, would Ariel and Jarrat know about this since we flew in? I mean, John would definitely know about it since, you know, he lived here. That's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, also, and Dirk. But he's go, an NBC. Account. <laughs> if we go by the talent rules, I would need to probably have been there before. I guess you all have to pick the destination. Well, there have been a few places on this planet I haven't been here terribly long or often. But you're the only one who knows where you've been. This is true. This is also true. But uh, I'm not sure I can think of anywhere that would be out of the way and inconspicuous for us to just poof. So we break through the roof. Got it. Also, there's the issue of air displacement. I mean, I could avoid the whole breaking through the roof thing and just get us outside. 
so we don't leave an extra entrance or exit. That's true. Could you just teleport us onto the roof and then we could fly away? That would be just as jarring to them. Yes, I could do that. So, maybe we need to have John, like, prep the engines, be ready to go, and then poof. I mean, I can also fly, and it would be less jarring for me to fly immediately after dislocating like that. Well, you're the pilot, so you make a decision, but we just need to have an idea of what we're going to do. do up to all of you I have simply stated what I think I can do so how does the detonation work is there a detonator we hook it up to like will we just bring the detonator onto the ship I mean, assuming that it works like I think I remember it works then I just Wave, a de- wave my hand around and there's a detonator in it. I'm going to look right now. I think you're right, but I was just I was just in character double checking. The detonators are what set off the explosives. They need to be connected. I mean, I, I would. They were connected when I put the charges in. I, I, I'm just holding a switch triggers them. Oh, the remote trigger device. Yeah, that's different from a detonator. Yeah, you're right. I mean, in the book, it's only listing timers, but it seems kind of silly to run things like that. I mean, we already used detonite yeah. with a remote detonator yeah, we did. in the block mansion, so. And, like, Han Solo's used that before in the movies. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think if you can just get us outside and fly it away, then someone else can set off the explosives right when that happens. They won't have time to react to it. Well, how far away from the building can you get us? Well, I mean, how far do you want? Um, well, hopefully far enough so that we don't get hit by the explosion that we want to set off as quickly as possible after leaving. I mean, if we go by the talent rules, then theoretically anywhere. Even another solar system. (laughs) But... Well, this craft isn't space worthy, so let's not do that. Yeah, yeah that's a bad idea. You all die in the vacuum of space because Picard's lost his mind. <laughs> no, I didn't lose my mind. I wasn't suggesting it. What about just. How about just a roof a couple blocks from here? If we um, use the. If we use just the basic full space power as a template, then it's just 24 squares, or maybe 30 squares if I roll super insanely well. Well, if we just got a we just need like a, roof, a flat roof, a couple blocks from here, then we can just take off and run. Yeah, I mean, you could go out real quick and go be at said roof if you need to see the location before you go there. Theoretically, up to 60 squares. Well. I think... I think we've got a basic idea of what we're going to do. 
And to be honest, it does us no good to detail this out. We're, it's, we're gonna have to make stuff up on the fly as it happens anyway. How much longer until she arrives, do you think? I have no idea. All of a sudden, a uh, red lightsaber blade sticks through the wall right over here, right by the door. And Bob says, Alert! There's a hostile incoming! Into the ship. To the ship. I'm, I'm moving the moment I hear this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all just... Yeah, but make a break for it. <laughs> Getting into the ship and starting up the engines in the pilot seat. Don't forget about the illusions. Ariel. Okay, everybody roll initiative. Yay! This is exactly what, when we need really good initiative from me. Or I'm sure our enemies will roll like a 37 and then come in and like force lightning us all to death. Well, I clicked on my token. It didn't send it. Ooh, ooh, um, is that Bob's roll or is that um, the enemy's roll? Uh -oh. Ooh. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The question is, who was he ooing for? I feel it's like Bob. it's not Bob. I, I feel That's like Bob. that too, but That's Bob. Okay, I see a lack of people in this turn order. I clicked on my token, it didn't I sound. forgot to click on my token. <laughs> I mean I had clicked on my token earlier, so it should have done it, but it will. Also, why do, on my thing, Gerard and Ariel don't have names in the turn order? Everybody <laughs> else has names. I don't see anyone having names. Nameless, faceless tokens. Name on the turn. Yeah, no one can see other people's names unless you have like access to their token. Uh, for that one, I don't know. That's on your side, GM, not mine. Really? I've never seen names, just pictures. Really? Yeah. Yep. It's weird now for me, for one of the evil characters and you guys, there's no names appearing. That makes it hard to tell who's who. Okay, so what did Ariel actually get? 24, okay. Who else needs to be put on the turn order? Me. Okay, what did Picard actually have? 28. I hope that door is real sturdy. Okay, is everybody else uh, here? Everyone's good? I I'm on the turn order. It looks to be good. Question, can Picasso drain energy the lightsaber as it's poking through the wall? <laughs> I don't know, is he first on the turn order? <laughs> no, I'm second. What I'm curious about is where are our positions? Where did we end up resting? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just going off of where you guys are on the map. I mean, that's fair. Because that's where you put the secret entrance. Right where that red dot is, where Ariel is. It's actually Where's the ship? It's two squares wide, to be honest. It's south of us. It's in this pit of darkness over here. Pit of darkness to the south of us, okay. And where is the lightsaber poking through? There should be light um, coming from that. Right near Bob. Crimson light. I did tell Bob to stealth for watching, so. Yeah, but then he came back inside. He's not really watching anymore. Alright, let's get going. Alright, we're all ready to die. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, 
just sit. I will tell him to get to the ship. And provide covering fire from the possible. Yay, Belmar Combat! We win! What happened to the, the, the turn order decided to go away? I don't. Yeah, I went away on my screen too, that's weird. Does everyone have their names now? Nope. No. That did not help with the names. Okay. I mean, you didn't put the natural 20 person on the turn order. That's because they're in the GM layer. <laughs> they're on my turn order. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> They're already on board the ship. I, I, I think I saw it for just a moment yeah, before you, the turn order uh, went away. That was a mistake. <laughs> I'll call on your secrets. I mean, you can always just hover over the pictures and it'll show you who they're talking about. This is true. Anyway, so uh, yeah, so this Sith, you see a, a Sith wheeling a red lightsaber dash inside the door. And he attacks Bob. <laughs> Wait, he has a turn over 14, but how did he cut through the door, move, and attack Bob in the same turn? Like in the He cut through the door on the surprise round. The yeah, but round. yeah, the regular round where he has initiative of 14. He has an initiative 14. Oh, th don't ignore that. That's not correct. Well, then why is it in the turn order? <laughs> <laughs> the special Sith is the one with the turn order of 34. The special. Either that or he has advantage. We might need to accept that Bob is destined to be destroyed. <laughs> no, I... I... I <laughs> no. But, He's supposed to be like at full health, so he should be able to run away. Yeah, okay, he's gonna be attacked, Del. Do you want to intervene? You know what? I'm gonna save it for the living members of the party this time, but I've been wasting spending all my energy saving the droid. As I've done twice now. <laughs> okay, so Del gets sliced into. You just said Dill gets sliced in two. Yeah, I was going to point that out too. <laughs> Bob, Bob gets sliced in two. Do you have something he, he against your brother? Gets sliced not, not in <laughs> into us in INTO. <laughs> Sorry, poor choice of words. <laughs> the lightsaber blade slink, sinks into Bob. He does not fall into two pieces. He's still intact. That's better. I was like, I'm confused. <laughs> you almost fully healed him. I just mandling these five droids. He only has a little well health. Hey, no, look, you're twice! <laughs> He's been Darth Mauled. You come back stronger than ever before. And probably wants to kill us. Cause... Probably. And yells our names a lot. Mm-hmm. Turn. Sorry. Okay, Picard, your turn. So I command to the droids get to the ship, into the ship, and then I will do this. And let me see. I will fling him. Wait, what? I think my point oh, no, it's not broken. It just didn't. The numbers aren't colored for that, huh? That's strange. Anyways, uh, yeah, I will 
move him out of the door and slam him into the ground. Are your force points supposed to add up together like that? Or what's supposed to add up together like that? I don't know, maybe I don't understand how all these little boxes work, but I thought force points because you roll D26 or 2D6 and you take the higher one. Uh, that is a special option for the power. If I spend a force point to augment the power, there's a special rule within the power that lets me increase the, the max up the uh, size category of what I'm lifting by one and get extra damage. Like I said, I don't understand how all these boxes work. Those are optional. Yeah, that's if I had chosen to do that. Yeah, in case. Yeah, so I don't have to roll anything anymore. Okay. No worries. So yeah, that's what what I'll do. So I'll, like, move him. Okay, you and slam him down. Slam him, and oh, then he into the- collides into suddenly someone just appears out of midair that he slam him into crashes the into. And they take damage too. Convenient that is. Your own fault for being pinball. Okay, whose turn is it now? Well, that would be Bob. Okay, Bob, please. (laughs) Other guy get an attack of opportunity? No. Uh, I don't think he was really engaged in melee combat at that point. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, especially since you, like, (laughs) threw them into each other. (laughs) I wanted to be fair, though. Yeah. Okay. If I'm fair with the GM, then he will be fair with me, hopefully. (laughs) <laughs> I considered having a tag of opportunity and I realized that he was indisposed at the moment. Okay, Del. Um, so if I use like a move action and a standard action to like move, can I like do like a use the force perception check to see if I can sense anybody else outside? Or is that a larger round action? Uh, technically it's a standard action to do that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna run and then oh wait, actually, like, that's a full round action. Okay, then I'm definitely not doing that. <laughs> Can I just roll perception? Sure. You see the two guys colliding into each other. Cool story. Ariel. Exciting running. Drat. Um. Jarrat is going to pick up this big thing right here. No, wait. I can't do that because it's too many squares. No, wait. That is actually enough squares for me. Okay. I'm going to pick up that big object right there and slam it in front of the door. Where the Sith cut through. I don't think your range affects how many squares you can actually move the object itself. So your range increases to 18 squares, but you can still only move the object 6 squares. Unless I'm mistaken. Then it is 
that a chunk of concrete or a big thing? It's some sort of thing, yes. Big enough to at least block the door for a minute. Uh, I think that one's also more than six squares away from the door. One, two, three. You could move it, like, right there. Like, I'm pretty tanky, so you can just slam that or into them the next round. You can also block this over here. Also, did you roll initiative for my for the tiny droid? Oh no, I did not do that. I normally just have the droids go whenever Bob goes, so I just forgot to move him. If that is the case, then he should be fleeing. There we go. Okay, in that case, I'm just gonna run. Oh, and I didn't roll initiative for the people. <laughs> Yeah, that's also a good idea. Okay, wow, Kalani rolled really badly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what do you do, Kalani? So, the plan was to retreat to the ship. Yep. Okay, then. I forgot to move on my turn, turn unfortunately, too. so... People talking over each other, right? I forgot to move on my turn, unfortunately. But I have plans for them. I think you're gonna get murderized if you move. <laughs> I think there will be murderizing, but I'm not. Okay, Kalani, are you running? Okay, John, your turn. Uh, I want to get on the ship and turn it on and start getting us out of here. So, is this the ship directly west of me? Yeah, you have time ship? to get on board the ship this round. You can run in the back cargo ramp. Okay. Okay, the Sith that you shoved runs up to you, because... Wildly good. swinging his lightsaber. Well, I have an idea. It's actually because of the force rage, a 35 damage. Well, that's not the greatest. Del, do you want to intervene here? Are you too far away to intervene? I think I'm too far away to intervene because he didn't move. <laughs> Unfortunate that I did not move. By the time I had thought to move, we had moved on to turn to the next turn. You're just so impressed with yourself for moving two people. Okay, the other one charges at you as well. A 
and rolls much better. Well. Let me see about me getting that. So that one would be a 36. I don't think you can, but you don't only have one reaction, right? Oh, it's a reaction. Like, you react to a thing. So, like, each thing is, can provoke a reaction. They've gotten really good rolls on this. So, I'm just going to do this hard thing. And I will spend the force point to bump up the shield rating. You can't spend a force point if it's not your turn. Okay, so that's my shield rating. Okay, so you take 36 minus 15, which is 21. And then your shield drops to 10. I guess you also, yeah, make a DC check to maintain the shield after taking damage. Or use the force check? Yeah. Yeah, so the DC would be 15 plus 21, so... Yeah, so the shield actually goes out. But it shielded you for 15 points of damage. Better than nothing. Yeah. Whose turn is it? Uh, I think it's your turn. Okay, because the turn order hasn't moved forward yet. Yeah. Okay, your turn. When I have the turn order on someone who's in the GM layer, where does it show up as for you guys? <laughs> um, for that one, it was showing up for John. And then you moved it two oh, steps uh, with 34 dude being the okay. uh, last one. So I'm going to. Okay, do so this. who does it say right now? Bob. 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 Yeah, that's interesting. Bob. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to. Which one looks like the one who's hurt the most? Or which one's the one uh, I They're both out? hurt equally because they collided with each other. This is true. Um, I'm going to hit the north one with this. Let me see, medium. Yeah, that should be the right size for a lightsaber. Yeah, so his lightsaber instantly vanishes. And then I move south. Quite aware of the attacks of opportunities that are incoming. Yeah, so do you want to make a withdraw action, or do you just want to run and take an attack? Well, drain energy was my action. Right, but you can withdraw as a move action. But you can yeah, only you move, move half speed. away, though. Yeah. But... Do I have reactions to, to being attacked? Yeah, every time someone does something that would trigger the criteria for a reaction, you get a reaction. I can do it. So, uh, yeah. So you're just going to run as normal? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just running. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to do something. Uh, there's no modifiers to that roll, right? That I can't see. Right. Oh, nice. You're going to do negate energy and then oh, wait, force point to get your health back. Oh, wait, it's still the same round as the Dark Rage. I'm going to do something much worse Okay, wait, so it was actually... Yeah, 24. Still, I have still negated it. Okay. So I'm going to activate two talents. One talent, let's... Well, let me pull them up to make sure I'm reading them correctly. Okay, once per encounter, you can activate one forced talent that requires a force point to use without spending a force point that to activate channel energy 
whenever you use the negate energy force power to successfully negate damage from an energy attack, you can spend a force point as a reaction to immediately activate any force power currently in your force suit. Mm, that's a pretty great combo right there. Yes, that's why I was that's why I was waiting for the wait, did you take damage? Did twenty go over your reflex defense? That's no, no it didn't. No, it shouldn't. So I wouldn't need to negate energy then. Yeah. But he still can, like, just because it goes, like, you can purposely <laughs> I mean, get hit by a lightsaber. To, you can be like, I purposely get hit by his lightsaber. You totally should be allowed to do that. I mean, that's the GM call. I'm not going to lawyer either way. I'm, I'm fine with either way because I get that power back, back and I can do it the next time. Yeah, I mean, I mean, technically, if you want to be hit on purpose, you could be. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm intending to end up using it on one of them. Either way, it would be nice, but I mean, just, I, I'll do it if the GM says, yeah. Well, you could do it if you want to. As a player, I would say you probably shouldn't do that, because right now that got you out of a damage this time. So, like, then the next time you can also use that and get out of another damage. But if you use up this trick now, the next time you might actually take damage, you'll have to take it. This is true. I also have more force shields and such, but... Yeah, yeah, I'll you. save it. I will save it for now. It is a good idea. And that is all my movement, I believe. Okay, the droids continue fleeing. And the people on. and the people. <laughs> no. <laughs> I should just say, the NPCs continue fleeing. Uh, he's actually gonna stay there for a second. Just in case Picasso needs some more assistance. Okay, and do you want to ready in action or something? Well, well, I'm... Hold on. Yeah, you can delay your turn. Um... Yeah, already. Um, or you did want to use a full round action before to. Yeah, I know. Force yeah, so that. I think I'm gonna do, uh, ready in action. Like if, well, is move object like in my in range at this? Like if they run up to Picasso again. I don't think so. Uh, not special talents. No. They'd be like two squares out of range. But I could pick up like this thing that's here and throw it into them? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, that, that'll that be my ready to action, I think. And then also be like, Ariel Gerard, can you see, can you send Star Surgis anywhere? And that'll be my turn. Now it'll be Ariel's turn. Can I take a swift action to look beyond the walls and see if I see anyone beyond them, behind those guys? Yeah, real perception. <sighs> Sorry, guys. You don't see anybody out there. Okay, dropped. All right, for that, I'm going to use the force and see if I can't take the full round action and see if I can't sense anyone. Okay. It's a pretty good roll. Yeah. I have a plus 19 to my use the force check. That better can count for something. Okay, please let me make some rolls.
Okay. Uh, yeah. So when you reach out with the force, it's very baffling to you because you can see absolutely nothing, even with your mirror Luke in sight. You can't see anything. But when you reach through the force, you can feel the dark presence of numerous <laughs> dark side people in this very room around you. Uh. Okay, for that, if you want, you can go ahead and whisper that to me if you want to keep that a secret from everyone else. Uh, well, I sort of just told you, so... Well, as far as specific people, I think you need... Oh, okay. Yeah, as far as specific people, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I know you don't want to let... I'm going to pretty much spill the beans anyways, but... But in particular for this role, uh, if you want um, anybody of exceptional power, uh, I would desire the location for you. You look towards your sister. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I have zero dark side points, thank you very much. Wait, what? Oh. No. Uh, exceptional power was the uh, comment there. Yeah, but it was tied to the sensing dark siders. Yeah, I wasn't still connecting it to that. <laughs> oh, we're just, the, yeah. just the way it was phrased. Any one of exceptional power was the phrase that caught my attention. <laughs> We're all dead. Yeah, probably. Uh, you hear Gerard. Castle has the detonator. We're gonna be like, "Hey guys, guys, guess what? We're gonna blow ourselves up. <laughs> then you'll get nothing." Um, after taking that, Gerard was just gonna do a free action because that's all he can do, <laughs> and just say, "There are more. Just run." All of them are towards Paquez. We need to run. We need to move now. Okay, Kalani. Um, running seems to be the thing. Oh, I just thought of something. What? Yeah. We should have lied in the room with like oil or something, and then I could have used my combustion to light it all up at once at some point. Oh, that would be great! Really. <laughs> I've, I've been playing a lot of Divinity, and it just hit me. It's like that would have been awesome. <laughs> how, far, how much further down is the ship? Uh, it's not much further down. Can you guys see John's flashlight? Yep. Through um, the hull of the ship. That's, that's a very bright flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the hull is clear. Well, actually. characters can't see the flashlight, but on the map, you can see the flashlight, which is showing where the ship is. I'm just running where everyone else is running, because I haven't actually seen the ship yet. Yeah, Eagle, you're about 115, give or take, 120 feet away from the front edge of the ship. So, it's over towards where my arrow is. If you see it, yeah, you should be able to see it. Okay, John, your turn. That's to the front end of the ship. I'm not sure if there's a. I'm turn the ship on. Okay, roll piloting. 